well, it seems like yesterday yeah. you were in Africa, okay? And since then, a whole year has passed. Um, and it's only fitting that round two safari to we start up here where we had such amazing memories, such amazing hunts. Um, this is the scene of where we hunted amazing kudu last year. Our, our war dog that's become infamous now, our war dog dig. And obviously that mountain reed buck that will go down in, in the record books for ages to come. Um, so this trip, Gable, we, we're starting up here in the mountains. You liked it last year, I really love it up here. And uh, we off the kudu once again. You told me there's never only one kudu for you in Africa. So we <laughs> back at it that. again. Try to double up on. There we go. Yeah. We back at it again. What else are we off to on this trip, Gail? I think uh, maybe there's some spring buck up here. Yeah. That uh, might pique our interest. Yeah. There we go. Um, but those two for sure. For sure. And and down south we're gonna go off to Nyala. You've spoken about. Maybe we're gonna start up on the tiny ten a little bit. Cable's got a little bit of interest going with that. So. We're going to enjoy the mountains, we're going to enjoy the views, um, we're going to look, look for a big kudu, that's our goal today. And anything else along the way, we're going, to, we're going to take what Africa gives us. But we can't complain with views like this. been on the hunt for kudu all morning and working these river beds. We've been spotting quite a few kudu and um, haven't quite found the bull we're after. Seen enough to know they're around. But as luck would have it, we've stumbled upon two or three springbuck males feeding in along the edge of these river beds on the plains. So, as Africa always does, Always the opportunity around every corner. And we're gonna try and get onto these spring buck and see if we can get cable and nice rain. Take your time in the chest, eh? And get ready, he's gonna stop when he comes out. Okay, he's good, he's good. He's gonna be done, he's done, he's done. He's gonna go down. Woo. Great shot, man. <laughs> <laughs> Great shot. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> Talk about a seriously tough getting in here. It was only about 20 yards of trying oh. to crawl, but wow, we got more <laughs> stickers and thorns than we've had any other hand, dude. Oh, yeah. oh, that was awesome, man. That was fun, eh? I'm gonna be picking cactus out of my entire oh, body for and, and the rest this, of the trip. And this yellow grass here, woo, oh, you yeah. know, it's all dry in the winter now. And yes, I tell you, it is smashing us. I don't think he's going anywhere, Cable. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Getting to hit him well on that front shoulder. Eh? I could see actually, you know, the impact hit him. Pretty, pretty animal. Yeah, he's a nice ram, oh man. Check that out, hey? Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful springbok ram. The absolutely beautiful colors, eh? Mm. Just beautiful. Magnificent ram. Um, this guy here, hell of animal. What I want when I look at a springbok, you do not often get the tips hooking back like this, okay? Uh -huh. But what I do want is the stem, which is the initial growth. Then it goes up and makes the heart shape. So what I liked about him and why I decided we'd go for him, he had the hooks and he had stem. And you can see he's a nice heavy buck. He's an old animal. He was a good one to take. <laughs> awesome. And he also set up- Beautiful animal. Beautiful animal. Yeah. Beautiful and some of the best eating. Oh yeah. So uh, I believe you cooking some hot for us tonight Absolutely. if you haven't blown it up. Absolutely.
cheers guys, welcome and uh, to all the good animals and places that we're going to get. Um, very happy for you guys to be here and welcome. Cheers guys, cheers. Thank you. good day. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Ribs, lamb chop, potatoes, all cooked on a traditional South African rye, which excites me because I had this last year and it was pretty tasty. Hey Cable, it's been a busy morning. We've looked over a lot of kudu. We haven't had much luck yet. It feels <laughs> like the kudu gods are against us at the moment. Um, we have seen two, two bulls that were right on the borderline. I think one was a shooter for sure, but not quite what we're after. We've, we've got a bull from last safari. So we are looking for something a little bit better. We're looking for something really special. Um, good, good viewpoint here where we are right now. We've been here for a couple of hours. Our local man in the area, yeah, he seems to feel strong about a bull he's seen here in the last couple of weeks. So we're going to move and change position, go to the other side, we'll leave all the way to on this side to have a look. And maybe if we're lucky, we can pick him up here at about 3, 34 o'clock when he starts moving. But for the time being, it's not to report and one love to the kudu. Mm -hmm. we're, not, we're not having much success <laughs> here. But we are seeing a bit of things, but just not what we're after. We left the north nice and early this morning after pursuing Kudu for a couple of days and we're back in the south looking for a Nyala and we, we've right into the action immediately. We've uh, spotted a nice bull, seen a couple of females. We're going to try and get on to him now and see if we can get lucky. Okay, well, what you can actually see here, it's like fresh, fresh Nyala. We spotted the Nyana up higher earlier and they were making their way down. And this is actually, you can see where they've had a beer. And when the droppings are scattered like that, not in one pile, it means that animal's moving. So, you know, they, they were making their way down. Obviously when they got here, they moved a bit quicker down. They haven't seen us, but they, they, they're moving along this thick stuff here. So if we just keep going down this ridge as we're going, we should hopefully catch up to them. Gonna come out behind that one, okay? What can I do to get you more comfortable? He's gonna come out now in that gap. There he comes. See that one coming there? Yeah. Take your time, eh, when he gives us a shot. It's 160, so I want you to aim low on the shoulder. Okay, just behind the shoulder. When he stops, just watch him. Just remember the angle. Okay, that's him, eh? Wait, Cable, just let him clear. Okay, on the shoulder, take him. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot, Ching. I watch you carefully. Impact was good. He's a proper bull, eh? Here is a big one. Wow. We finally got our Nyala. Cable's hit him. The impact looked fantastic. Both Cocky and I were watching and we're pretty confident it's good. Um, he's just gone down in the thick stuff. We're just gonna give him some time and then we'll put Bongo onto him, but I like the reaction. It was good and he's an epic bull. Sounded good. Hey, sounded good. Yeah, it sounded very good. Very happy with that. Well, Cable, this is the result of a long morning. We were up very early this morning. We left the mountains and here we are. Um, picked up on Inyala early, saw them early, mm. and it feels like it's been a marathon <laughs> trail for us. You know, on them hot and cold, hot and cold, and I had kind of gone and sat one side and just tired from yesterday's glassing for hours. And I thought to myself, not again, not another day. <laughs> and right below me, out stepped the uh, a Nyala bull mm. and and we, we had been following them but they disappeared altogether. Yeah. and next thing another bull came out and I was like those are our two bulls we were looking for um, and I, I, I called you over to the termite mound then and you can maybe fill us in a little bit about what what happened then oh man well I'm, I'm just kind of in awe this is the the animal that was number one on my list for this trip yeah and to finally put my hands on him uh, what a bull, seven mag, dumped him, 
And uh, nice tracking job, by the way, bro. <laughs> so this is a, this isn't, you know, <laughs> for the faint of heart, everything in here can cut you. Everything, stick you, stick you hold you. This is where these animals love to hang out. Precisely. Um, but uh, I couldn't be happier. What a bull. You, you mentioned that he's extremely old. Very old bull. Uh, he's flat on the gums, actually. If I open his mouth here, yeah, he's absolutely like little corn little corn kernels that's mm. all that's left there yeah. really he's done um bull's been here in this area for a long time i've hunted him for a couple of years now i haven't been able to get onto him and this morning we just got lucky and we stuck on him and uh, they were always ahead of us and finally uh it just worked out for us and at the end it was 161 yards you were on him over the termite mound and uh made a beautiful shot. There was one little window of opportunity and I asked you, mm -hmm. and you said, I got a shot, and I knew it. You were confident, said, take it. Well done, buddy. Thank I you. am glad we're back to winning ways after our kudu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but well, one of the neatest things while hunting out here is actually while looking for kudu or bushbuck or any of our larger plants and species that a lot of guys target, we bump into the tiny tent from time to time, and. Right here today, we've we found a nice pair of Stianbuck. From a distance, I could see some horns, and Oluwetu's got a good gut feel on this one. Oluwetu said to me, he's gonna sit up high and keep an eye on them. And if we'd come over, the wind's not perfect, but I feel if we can just cut the sort of the wind past them, look over at them, it's a pair. They should normally be a ram and a ute together. See what we can see, it's an extra little bonus. We're not expecting it then. A neat species to pursue, so stand back it is right now. Awesome. Yeah, so let's give it a go. Like 230. Fine. Okay, let's let's go in the shade here. We crawl, we get where you're comfortable. It's just too much cactus here. Cable. My man, that is as beautiful, as old, and as a fantastic Sianbuck as you're gonna get. Yeah. It is just a beautiful old ram. Look at the hair on the nose is off. Look how he hooks forward with age, but what makes this guy unbelievable is the secondary growth. It seems like he's got three piles of secondary growth. I've never seen that before. Um, I'm looking forward to showing this to the rest of the team and asking them if they've ever seen that. I sure have never seen it like that before. Yeah. Uh, normally, if you just have that one lot of secondary growth, it's like, wow, awesome. This is just unbelievable. One worth waiting on, huh? Oh, one worth <laughs> waiting on. And he's an old warrior. He's scarred up. He is battered. Um, his body is already down in condition. He's an animal that's a very good one to take. Yeah. And, 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 um, oh, these small ones, what is their uh, lifespan? Oh, man. Stianbuck, Stianbuck, I would say five to six years, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just beautiful. Um, obviously, predators get after them quite a bit. But uh, this is a heck of a start on the tiny 10. Um, I loved what the Horizon Firearm 7 Mag did. Yeah. Thanks to Derek and crew. Uh, back in, in Texas, but what a start uh, to your Tiny Ten collection. Okay, well, it's a cold morning up here in the mountains. Um, we, after Val Roebuck today, woke up early this morning and we've got up high and we can start working our way down these ridges and, and find, finding where these Val Roebuck are in the little valley secluded from the light breeze. It's a pretty good day for up in the mountains. It's not too windy. 
Um, and if we just work our way all along these ridges, taking our time, being patient, we should see these, uh, these unique animals that live here in the Eastern Cape of last year. And um, the far roebuck, it's a mono species. Uh, nothing else out there like it. They haven't been able to find any resemblance to it. To me, it looks like a big jackrabbit with horns, basically. It has a nose like a jackrabbit, ears, it has fur like a jackrabbit. <clears throat> Unbelievable sense of sight unbelievable sense of smell and the ability to move in this terrain like you cannot imagine. Yeah. So we, we have our backs up against it today. This is a, a, a true test of a hunter up here. It's not only the endurance of getting to where they are but making a shot count. Normally quite a long shot too. Yeah. So that's what you can look forward to today. Well I like it too because it reminds me of the kind of hunting I like back home, western big game hunting. It's yeah. Kind of like you would think of Stereotypically, I don't think people realize all these mountains exist. And, you know, yeah, it's right. not flat. <laughs> no, you're right, and it's and, and it's not it's not the savanna, and there's so much variety that people don't realize. The mountain hunting side of things is is very um, sort of it's it's very underrated. Yeah. People don't know about it. They just don't think of Africa as a mountain hunt, but there's some fantastic mountain hunting out here. And today we're going to experience that. We drove we only drove about an hour. The woodlands. Yeah. It's probably 20 degrees colder here. Yeah, it's cold up here. It's cold. <laughs> You just got to always spend more time glassing because once you find a ram you want to go after, if you put him up, half the battle's lost. But if you can find him, if, you know, without them realizing you're there, you can do something with the lay of the land and find a way. I think we find our ram. We've probably seen 40 to 50 volleys. It's now early afternoon. We had a nice lunch out in the field, cresting the first hill after lunch. We got ourselves a ram. You can let him have it. Got it. Got it. You've hit him. You've hit him. That was good. There we go. That was good. Good shot. That was good. Whew. What a long day. <laughs> we started at five. It is now half past four. Five past four. And we started hunting these volleys at sunup. And we're about to finish them at sundown. And we got lucky. We got onto this guy laying in the shade in the afternoon, right in the late afternoon laying where the sun didn't catch him. We spotted him from up high, stalked down, and man, we were lucky. Got a shot of him lying down, and we got a good ramp. So we're just gonna walk down there, head down there, and we can see what we got. Awesome. Cool, man. Wow. <laughs> Isn't he awesome? Hey? How cool is that? Check that out. Hey, beautiful, beautiful. You know, Clay, this is the one I think that we saw earlier, chasing all the females, eh? Yeah. Yes, just magnificent animal. And if you look, just, I mean, I, I love the shape here. If you look at the, the horns, they're actually curving out. He's nice and heavy all the way. Um, he's well above the ears, like I was saying to you earlier. I was looking for something an inch or inch and a half above. Uh, and, and he'll make the magical eight inch mark we, we want and that we hope for, eh? And just beautiful. Remember, I, I told you earlier that his fur is like a jackrabbit? Yeah. It's actually not hair, it's actually fur like a jackrabbit. So I, I always say they have a rubbery nose like a rabbit, they got ears like a rabbit, tail like a rabbit, and fur. And they just got horns and they can't find any relation to these guys. Tell you what, watching them all day, they can really cover some ground on yeah. them. I mean, just like a jackrabbit. Just like a jackrabbit. Yeah. And I think the, the, the nicest thing today was being able to share with you the amount of our rabbit you saw. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell you now, don't take for granted 
the numbers you saw today, we saw an excess of 60 Farleys. We had many encounters where I could show you what we were looking for, what was not right, what was right. And one of the neatest things for me on this particular uh, hunt with right, right now was the amount of young Farleys we saw. Mm -hmm. That tells us the population is healthy. We saw a lot of young. We saw mothers nursing. We saw the good dynamics of rams. And we saw a bachelor group of three young rams together. And that's that's just about unheard of. We saw ram chasing, yeah. We saw ram chasing. Yeah, yeah. So all in all, um, we started up early this morning. Uh, it's now just going on five. Uh, we're already in the shadows here. And we got ourselves a great volley. And uh, a good day comes to an end. We're going to pack the volley out now, head up, take a couple of pictures, and head back to the camp, have a nice uh, evening around the campfire, see what our friends hunted, and go and celebrate a beautiful volley. Awesome. Well done, my friend. Thanks, Very nice. Beautiful. Thanks, Clay. It was good having you along, man. Very nice. Enjoy the adulations. Thank you. On the left. Take it. There we go. That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go, buddy. That's cool. Yeah, very nice, eh? Yeah. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Very nice. Hey, Brick, what do you say? High five. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> cool beans. High five. Give my five to you. Cool. You can take your ears up, boy. That's pretty awesome, eh? Very nice. Very, very nice ram. Beautiful. Yeah, they're pretty, eh? It is just beautiful. <laughs> hey, Cable? Wow. Really unique. The unique colors I told you about as we were as we were leaving this afternoon, I was saying to you, you know, what to expect. Yeah. And precisely what it said. And, and the Bontebuck, obviously, it has a has a uh, has a mask where yeah. the blessed buck doesn't. All the way up the front, it's white. Mm. The horns, I said to you, pitch black, mm. um, and the rings all the way close to the top. Yeah, what a pretty, I mean, pretty, look at all pretty, these colors. pretty animal. Mm. Really, really nice. And um, you know, when I was my little boy Brett's age, yeah, I can remember maybe a handful of people being able to hunt these. Mm. And today we uh, we hunt a handful every year let alone my old childhood, remembering it like that. Yeah. Where so, like we've said so often before, you know, it, it, it takes so much more than us on the ground here in Africa. It takes you guys back there as a collective unit, you know, we do it together. Mm. Very important. Oh, this is a heck of an animal. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful, um, and very unique. Hey, Brett, what do you think? Uh, yes. Nice one, eh? Mm. Pretty animal, eh? Very cool. Awesome, Carl. Thank you, Mommy. Well, Cable, it's been another one for the ages, my friend. It's been harder than our first hunt, I feel. <laughs> I feel we've uh, tried harder. Um, we've most certainly hunted harder and we've lost harder than ever before. But I think we got rewarded with some fantastic animals. Absolutely. I don't think we hunted the number we did before on, on your last trip, but this trip we... Who, who can forget that unbelievable Inyala? Um, I most certainly will never forget the Stianbuck of a lifetime. Mm. It's been a long time since I've harvested a Stianbuck like that. The day up in the mountains for Farabak, unbelievable. And Absolutely. even though we didn't score on Kudu, I still believe that uh, that experience as a whole, nothing quite beats that. Mm. You know, knowing 
that he's out there somewhere and you can find him mm-hmm. at any given time. We know they're there. We've seen them. We've hunted them. We've been successful on them before. And we passed on. Exactly. Bulls. You yeah. know. We already have one. So. Exactly. You know, we said better or nothing. Mm-hmm. And, and we couldn't better what we had, which is already fantastic. But all in all, um, Cable, this was number two. I, I've got a good feeling it won't be our last time. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you did too. It's Absolutely. been It's been a good one. Another another experience, different from the last, but exactly every bit is memorable. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, my friend. It's a Thanks, pleasure man. having you here. Absolutely. Thank you for everything you do and, and for being a part of the story with us. Thank you as well. Thank you.